Fabs, it's me, Kanishri, and I am back with another at-home glute workout since you guys love the first one. So we're going to get right into it. So we're going to be doing kneeling squats with a resistance elastic band, those long ones. You want to secure it somewhere, somewhere that's heavy, that it's not going to move when you use it. I'm using my couch and I'm reinforcing it with some weights from my kettlebell and dumbbell because when I was doing this, I actually hip thrust the couch away from the wall. So I'm securing it that way. So you want to get into your loop here and place it on your hips. Make sure to have a mat to cushion your knees because it could be a little uncomfortable. Once you've done that, just sit onto your heels and you can use the elastic if you have weights and you don't want to go through the hassle of securing the elastic. Then you can do it uh, at the bottom left here. We see an example of just the weights on your shoulders and you're doing the same thing. You want to hip thrust um, up into a kneeling position and squeeze the glutes and you're going to feel that tension in the glutes. So once you have that, you know you're doing it well. Next up, we're going to go into a compound exercise, the deadlift. So with the elastic on the left, I'm doing a sumo deadlift and with the uh, dumbbells on the right, I'm just doing your standard deadlift. However, with the dumbbell side, I have my shins pressed against the bench to help me with my form. Uh, this is a lot lighter than I'm used to, so I feel as though maybe I wasn't doing it as great as I could. So if you're a beginner or if you're, you're kind of concerned about your form, you can put your shins against a bench and it's going to help. Next up, I'm doing some side lunges into a leg raise. I'm going to be showing you a front and back view. You can use any kind of weights or you don't have to use weights at all. But for sure, I felt like the kettlebell was the most comfortable because then I can use it as a marker to tap the floor as I count my reps in. So I'm like, tap, that's one, tap, that's two. And from there, you just go, make sure you're taking your time. With this, it's really easy to go fast, I find, but you wanna make sure that your movements are controlled and you really feel everything in your glutes. And mind you, I do have a video on my YouTube channel of how to activate the glutes. So be sure to activate first before you get into this. Next, I'm doing some, you know, some side lunges again, but it's a closed circuit. So what that means is um, my feet are not coming up from the ground. So squats are a closed circuit. Push-ups are a closed circuit. There's no sort of opening here. So with your feet uh, placed firmly on the ground, wider than shoulder width apart, you're going to bend into a side lunge and you're going to shift your weight from left to right or right to left. Trust me, this is going to burn, okay? You're really going to feel this. So speaking of feeling things, I have a love-hate relationship with Bulgarian squats, but they are effective. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. You can place your foot flexed like this, or you can keep it flat. I like to keep mine flat, although sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find that sweet spot of where it feels comfortable. But from here, like you're gonna see I'm leaned uh, forward a bit. This has helped to targeting my glutes. And here I'm just going to do eight. Try, I try to aim between the hypertrophy of 8 to 12 reps just because it's something I don't really enjoy. But I think the secret to a great workout is to do things that you enjoy so it doesn't feel too much like a chore. But honestly, with like the gyms being closed, I feel like Bulgarian squats are super duper effective even though I don't enjoy to do them. So you can do this with dumbbells or you, I mean, you can, yeah, you can do this with dumbbells or you can do it without dumbbells, you know? Either way, you're still gonna feel it. And if you like them, then props to you. Next are hip abductors. I'm gonna show you two ways I do this with resistant bands. This resistant band uh, does tend to slip. So this exercise actually keeps it in place because you are sort of stretching it. But you wanna keep your feet together. That could be like the balls of your feet and your heels together. And you're doing an open and closed uh, motion, making sure to feel it in your glutes, especially the sides. Like you see how the sides are moving there? That's what you wanna feel. Keep that bag straight and make sure you feel it. But alternatively, you could sit on a bench or a chair, just on the edge of course. And it's gonna mimic as if you were on the actual hip abductor machine. And here I'm using a non-slip band, and it's super thick. The resistance is on level 1000, so you really feel it. Like, I'm holding my body because I feel it. And from there, you can do the hip abductors um, as some sort of finisher, if you, if you will. So be sure to check out my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.